TBG. I am so happy to see you. You had to get that rest though, you know? I heard you wasn't feeling too well. Troops, what's up, buddy? Good to see your name pop up. We miss you, bro. Yeah, man. Listen, VBG, it was some wordy ones tonight, some real wordy ones, some long stories. Uh it definitely wasn't short. It was a lot it was a lot of uh, a lot of talking on uh on hollow side. It didn't make it easy this week at all. <laughs> I miss me too. But Vanilla Bean, I will be around tomorrow, of course, to jump in your stream. For those of you who are in here, uh, Queen K goes by Vanilla Bean Goddess. Uh, you can follow her on Twitch. Uh, when Thursdays come around, she does a show called Am I the Asshole? Where she breaks down uh, three scenarios and you pretty much, you know, you can give advice uh, to whoever it is, who is who's making the statements. But they're pretty much asking am I an asshole for feeling this way or doing what it is that we that I do or I did. Uh it's interesting and I like it. So I'm in there and I and I I enjoy watching it. And on Wednesdays, she usually joins uh my buddy Hollow Red. Shout out to RVU, the RVU family, the RVU community. Uh they uh they do another show called Six Scenarios where uh, Hollow Red reads off six different scenarios and these people are asking for advice and the scenarios are fucking insane scenarios. They never are regular and it, it, it never makes sense. But it's crazy to hear these stories and we enjoy it. Uh, but if you guys get in there, you can follow uh Hollow Red on Twitch. I want to say it's Hollow Red eighty nine. I could I could be wrong uh, on Twitch. And it's Vanilla Bean Goddess. Uh, when they get in here, they can drop their Twitch handles in here. But I definitely suggest following them. And uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays is when they do their joint shows. They both do the shows together. Wednesday it's on Hollow Red's page. Thursday it's on Vanilla Bean Goddess's page. Uh, but they're definitely entertaining. I'm in. The, I'm in there every week. Uh, constantly got to support. You know, support your peoples, man. Uh, we spend all this this time supporting people that we don't know, buying their clothing, buying their shoes, buying their music. Uh, when your peoples do something, you know, you got to support them. Uh, show them that you care. Show them that you're there. Have faith in them, or they can't have faith in themselves. And I firmly believe that. So uh, I'm going to always show up as much as I can because uh, I appreciate that. But uh, now that we got some people up in here, I'm doing a draft. It's like a tournament style, uh, tra not a draft, a, a tournament, a tournament style elimination for my favorite TV show. Uh, this is 100 different TV shows. It's, it's a 100 TV show bracket. Uh, so what I did in this, because there was, 
so many TV shows. I had to eliminate certain uh, types of shows. So I took out all sitcoms. So there's no sitcoms in this. Uh, there are no sketch comedy shows in this. So you're not going to see shows like, uh, you know, How I Met Your Mother or, uh, you know, uh, Good Times, Gilligan's Island, uh, Always Sunny. Those shows are not going to be on, on here because, uh, you know, sitcoms are, are out. Uh, we're also not going to have sketch comedy, so you're not going to see the Chappelle show in here, which kind of sucks because Chappelle show is, like, in my top five. Uh, but we had to stay true to it, so uh, you're not going to see a Chappelle show. You're not going to see SNL or Mad TV or Key and Peele. Shows like that will also not be in here. This is going to be strictly, for the most part, drama. It's going to be mostly drama there's some dark comedy in here that's uh they're not considered sitcoms but they are dark comedy uh but are still pretty drama dramatized i guess but uh 100 tv shows and obviously i want y'all to put your opinions in here uh so um you know i look forward to seeing what you guys say your reasonings behind them uh, I know there's going to be some heartbreaks in here because there's some shows that you just don't want to see go early, but they're not going to have a choice because the matchups are going to be completely random. I have a bowl here. Can't show the bowl because of my green screen. I think. Oh, there it is. Bowl. There's a bowl. And there are 100 TV shows in there. I'm going to pick them out one by one. We're going to make the bracket. And then we are going to go through and start doing some matchups and eliminating them. Uh, if you look up up uh, up here, there are some spots where some shows are going to get a pass in the first round. Those are going to be completely random as well. Uh, some shows will deserve a pass in the first round. Some shows may not. It's all completely random. So. Uh, I am not picking uh, what these shows are that are going to get the pass. Uh, but I will say, if I am missing a show, there's 100 shows in here. So, I mean, there's probably a bunch of other shows that could have been up on here that are not up on here. Uh, but if you don't see a show, a show on here that you do normally watch or that you think is like super crazy, let me know what could have been switched out. You know what what uh what you think could have got taken off versus what could have been put on uh but let's get right to it let's 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 get to uh the first show should we do the passes first or go to the matchups first what do y'all think yeah I, I, I was holding the chat down as much as i could i was trying to do the modding thing you know moderators be modding i had to do the order ups and all that I'm thinking we do all the shows that get passes first and just get through the passes. Then I'll start going through matchups. David, I appreciate you being here, brother. Uh, David says passes first. I agree. I think we should go passes first. So I'm just going to start picking. First show, I get to pass. Can't say I agree with this. I also never watched the show, so I can't say too much about it. But the first show I get to pass is Weeds. I've never watched Weeds. I don't know if it's any good. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have seen it. That show that gets a pass. Pretty Little Liars. It's an, another one that I've never really watched myself. But I've heard a lot about. Definitely not something out in the past list. I should learn how to spell too.
next we have luther uh luther is a dope ass show i do actually watch luther uh it is a show on the bbc uh starring idris alva he plays a detective uh dope ass show if you've never seen that i want to say it's on netflix i've seen it uh that's where i watched it on uh but probably the best show on on the bbc uh, I, I would almost have to say hands down in my opinion so we are next once upon a time once upon a time is a weird twist on disney movies and disney they just all, all things disney uh, I actually watched the whole series. I enjoyed it personally. Uh, it was definitely different. I thought what they did was kind of cool with uh, some of the characters. Uh, I wasn't mad at the show. I know some people hated it. I wasn't mad at it. Next we have Supernatural. You guys might drag me for this. But I've never seen Supernatural. So far for me personally, the only one on this list that I would say would like could deserve a pass is probably Luther. So far. Next show we got for a pass, Downton Abbey which I am not familiar with. But I know it's a show that's like highly watched, so it must be a pretty decent show. It's good that the shows that I don't really watch are kind of getting passes because it would be unfair to eliminate them if they're actually really good. A show that I am familiar with, but not too familiar with, gets the next pass. Beverly Hills 90210. I'm just going to put 90210, so I'm not going to type out all of that. But y'all know what 90210 is. Next pass we have. West Wing. West Wing wasn't terrible. Definitely not passworthy, but it wasn't terrible. Next one on the pass list, uh, probably one of my favorite shows right now. Uh, what a crazy cast! Uh, Godfather of Harlem. Godfather of Harlem is super dope. Uh, Forrest Whitaker. Uh, I can't think of, think of the dude's name off the top of my head, but uh, he uh. He played Private Pyle in uh in Full Metal Jacket. No, I asked. I have exactly a hundred shows in here. I have exactly a hundred shows. Next show that gets a pass, we have Cobra Kai. Uh, I personally love Cobra Kai. I think it's fucking great. I'm also a huge fan of the Karate Kid, uh, so I was super excited to be watching Cobra Kai. And you know, what, Dave, David, honestly, uh, I don't know if I could have thought of more shows to put in here. Uh, if if anything, I'm missing like one or two shows that I can even think of. Uh, I honestly don't know if I'm missing anything. If I am, please let me know. Because then, you know, we could always say, let's switch something out for something else if we really wanted to. 
Uh, next on the pass list, we have Ozark, which is a great show. Uh, I actually watch Ozark. I'm on the last season now. The show is done and over, but uh, I started it not so long ago. It's, uh, I actually like the show quite a bit. Uh, next on the pass list, uh, I, a show I definitely want to start, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, it's a BMF. It stands for Black Mafia Family. It is a uh, street organization. Very interesting street organization. I definitely want to get uh, start that show. I heard nothing but good things, and I'm into that t those type of shows, so I definitely want to check it out. Uh, nah, nah, Nick. They're not. They're not in any order. I'm literally picking them out of a out of a bowl. They are in a bowl, and I'm just picking them out. So what what I'm doing is, is 100 TV shows in here. Uh, no, no comedies. Um, no sitcoms. No uh, sketch comedy shows. No cartoon shows. So nothing like The Simpsons or Family Guy. Nothing like that's gonna be in here. It's pretty much all drama shows. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, there's a uh, certain shows that are gonna get passes because that's how the hundred bracket work. Um, the hundred show bracket that's how it works. So we're doing the passes first, and we'll go straight to the matchups, and then we're gonna just go on from there. And this is pretty much uh my opinion to what so like which one I would pick. I obviously would like you guys to put in your input, uh, put in why all that stuff because uh. I never, I never mind having a good debate. Uh, next on the the pass list, we got Empire. Taraji P. Henson, uh, Terrence Howard. They say it is like a continuance of a uh, of a. Uh, why have I drawn a blank on the movie? Uh, Hustle and Flow. I don't know, man. Supernatural right over here on the, on the left hand side, man. Supernatural over here. It, it, uh, it, it happened to get a pass. I never watched it personally. I know you watched it because we've talked about it before, but uh, it, it, uh, it ended up getting a pass. Next on the pass list, we got Lucifer, which I've heard great things about. Uh, it's a show that uh, my sister actually has, has been trying to put me on to. So I'm going to get around to watching it. I'm going to check it out. This show on the, on the, the past list, True Detective. I got you, bro. That's not how you spell true. Don't mind me. Yeah, David, I've heard that. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about it. I just haven't seen it personally. Next on the pass list, we got Spartacus. Uh, I did watch some of the first season of Spartacus. Uh, I want to say it was Blood and Sand, is what it was called. But uh, I haven't gotten too, too far in it. I should go back and revisit. Next show on the pass list, we got. This is us. Oh gosh, what? No, no, no. Uh, uh, I I couldn't put a lot a lot of superhero shows on here. There's a couple in here, but uh, only the ones that are like super big right now. So like, Punisher got canceled. I'm not sure if Flash got canceled, but I know like Punisher got canceled. Uh, 
but the ones that are in here now, the ones that are kind of big now, like the Mandalorians in here. Uh, I forget what other ones. Um, WandaVision, I know WandaVision's huge. Next show on the past list, we have Blacklist. Ooh, I didn't get Smallville. I did not get Smallville. Like I said, though, I want you guys to do that, though. I, wa I want you guys to put shows in here. That I don't have, so... Like, before we go, we go down to matchups. We can like we can switch some out if we want to or whatever. Next on the pass list, Wu Tang American Saga. Uh, I personally love this show. I'm kind of glad it's getting the pass. Uh, I am also super super biased to Wu Tang, so. Uh, next one on the pass list. My sister will be excited about this. Charmed. Uh, I never really watched Charmed personally. I know it's about a couple witches and whatnot. A few witches. Yeah, I know Charmed is your favorite. That's why I said you'd be excited. Next show, Boardwalk Empire. Boardwalk Empire, I watched the first couple episodes. I do need to get back into it because I'm not deep enough into it. Sorry. Sorry, Jen. A couple of which is the best I got. We're almost done with the, uh, the the pass, all the passes. Next one is Westworld. A few witches. That's right. That's right. That's right, Bill. Hey, man, welcome to the chat, Will Mellow. I know we just said this name. Well, I just said this name a minute ago. WandaVision is next on the on the pass list. Uh, listen, bro, we got so much to go. I hope Snowfall gets a pass. Because uh I would hate for it to go out to a show that I like too too much. There's not many shows that's gonna beat Snowfall, though, I'm not gonna lie to you. Next one to pass us, we got 13 Reasons Why. I've never seen 13 Reasons Why, uh, 13 Reasons Why, but uh, I've heard it was really good. Next one, we got Gotham. I think Gotham is super dope. It's a fun twist on the Batman universe. Uh, I was not upset on it at all. I thought it was pretty cool, personally. Next one's a show. It's I guess it's it's an older show, but I'm not super familiar with it. Uh, Murder She Wrote. I think I've seen the movie Murder, She Wrote, but i never seen the TV show. Yeah, Gotham was fire. I liked, I liked Gotham a lot. Here's a show that I keep, be, I keep getting told to watch. 
Vikings. I think it's uh, super, super dope. And the last show to get a pass. After this, we're going to be going matchups. Last show of the past, we got Black Mirror. All right, so that's all our shows that got, that got passes for the first round. We got Weeds, Pretty Little Liars, Luce, uh, Luther, Once Upon a Time, Supernatural, Downton Abbey, Beverly Hills 90210, uh, the original, not the remake. Let's just get that out the way now. Uh, West Wing, Godfather of Harlem, Cobra Kai, Ozark, Black Mafia Family, Empire, Lucifer, True Detective, Spartacus, This Is Us, Blacklist, Wu-Tang American Saga, Charmed, Boardwalk, uh, Boardwalk Empire, Westworld, WandaVision, 13 Reasons Why, Gotham, Murder, She Wrote, Vikings, and Black Mirror. A five o'clock free crack giveaway? Nah, nah, fam. Uh, five o'clock Japanese time, bro. We still got some time. We gotta wait for snowfall for that. I just want to get into the first matchups. So matchup number one. We're gonna go straight down, then straight down. We're just gonna go that way. We'll go straight up matches first. We're gonna jump right into that. The first show is the OC. I won't talk about the shows that are get, gonna get put on now. I'll talk about it when we do the matchups just cause uh, it'd be more fun that way. We got the OC going against Wednesday. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Wednesday, what Wednesday is, it's like a dark, uh, a dark twist on uh, Adam's family. Next matchup we got Power I was going against Oz. Next matchup, we got Suits. Kind of fitting, I guess. Suits against Better Call Saul. Next, we have House of Dragons. House of Dragons will be going against Band of Brothers. Holla Rad RVU in the building. You missed a brother. I was talking all about you. You can catch me getting on the watch back. I'm going to show mad love to the RVU family. Next matchup. We have Rescue Me.
or his handmaid's tale. I'm waiting for a real fucking heartbreak right now. Something I love to get taken on the first round, so it makes me mad, mad as hell. Next, we got Sons of Anarchy. I love Sons of Anarchy too. It's Miami Vice. Next, we got Narcos. Story of Pablo Escobar. Versus Mad Men. Next, we got the shield. The shield we going against twenty four. Last matchup on the left side of the first bracket. We're gonna have Dexter. And Dexter will be going against. White Tongue. Left, uh, right side matches. Let's see what we got first. Vampire Diaries. That'd be one against the boys. That's match up we got house. Versus Seventh Heaven. Next, we got Chernobyl. Versus the Witcher. Next 
Next, we have Twilight Zone. Versus them. Pretty sure them is in the fucking Twilight Zone. Next we have Umbrella Academy. Versus the Mandalorian. Yes, we got Reacher. One of my personal favorites right now. I got dropped. Remind me, we're back. Welcome back to PBG. Ah, uh, here's the fucking heartbreak. Jesus Christ. I should have never picked that bitch up. Reacher versus Breaking Bad. That is the first heartbreak of the bracket. Ah, oh, man, that was fucking weak. The free crack giveaway, that's what I'm saying. We're about to get into it. Next matchup, we got Bones. Going against the leftovers. Next up, we got Stranger Things. We're going to start getting heartbreak after heartbreak now, aren't we? What do we got? Oh, that's not bad. Seven seconds. Shout out to Regina. Last matchup on the left side. We got Pace Motel. Going against the Mayans. So that's the whole the whole left bracket. Now we're gonna do the whole right bracket. And we're going to start getting through these matchups. First one on this side, we have Your Honor. Fantastic show. Your Honor will be going against the X Files. Agree or what? Baseball is helping in the great show. Show is fire. Next 
Next, we got Buffy. Buffy Vampire Slayer. Going against House of Cards. Next, we got Orange is the New Black. Sorry, but Orange is the New Black is a lot to type. It don't take up a lot of room, so fuck that. Get the initials. And Orange is the New Black will be going against The Wire. Next, we got Sherlock. We got Sherlock born against the oldest city. We own the city was fucking dope. That's what I say. Next we got Bosch. Ooh, this is tough. Bosch is going against Bel Air. Next, we got Lost. Lost is going against the Shy. Next, we got Yellowstone. Are you missing the chat? Nah. Nah, you're in the chat. No one else is talking right now. You're probably waiting until the matchups are ready. We got Yellowstone versus Game of Thrones. Next, we have Saturday Night Lights and ER. Next, we got Walking Dead.
far as those twin peaks. All right, last side this is the last of the matchups. Hawkeye. Versus Fear the Walking Dead. We have Kaleidoscope. Next, we have the Sopranos. Oh, that's interesting. The Sopranos versus Barry. Oh, no, I never mind, never mind. Surprise is going against Kaleidoscope. My fault. Barry is actually going against American Horror Story. Next, we have the doctor. Interesting. The good doctor, doctor who, that's what doctors going against each other. It's not weird. Next, we got you. Dawson's Creek. Oops, I wish I keep it like that. Fuck it. Next, we have Melrose Place. Versus Ray's Anatomy. I apologize for the fat fingers. <laughs> Is it really? I feel like you're trolling, but you actually might not be.
Next, we got Peaky Blinders versus Last of Us. He said, hell yeah, it's Dawson's Peaky Blinders. I ain't mad at it. Next, we got Lost Girl. Ooh, this is tough. Lost Girl versus From. In the last match. Prison break. And I already know what the last one is because we haven't called it out yet. Ray mentioned it. And I know it's the one that's, that's not picked yet. Snowfall. All right, so now we got all of our matchups. Now let's start going through and start uh, start picking some winners. So the first match we got the OC versus Wednesday. Uh, the OC is kind of like a, I guess you can call it like a chick drama if you want to call it that. Kind of like uh, you know, Dawson's Creek and Seventh Heaven. It's in like that kind of area. Uh, I love the OC. I think that show was super dope. Um, Wednesday was a fun twist on the Adams family. I thought the the it's only had one season so far. It was a great season, but I felt like it was super predictable. Personally, uh, this is an easy pick for me. It's nothing against Wednesday. I have to go with the OC. I love the OC. I think that show was like super, super good. Jen says Wednesday. I ain't mad at that. So first match we got OC. Let me know what you guys think. Go down there and put and put, uh, put your guys' choices too. Next we got Power versus Oz. Uh, Again, another easy choice for me. Uh, I'm going Oz. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about Power. I've honestly never watched it yet, and I know I should. I should watch it because it's like right up my alley. But Oz is way too fucking good. It's uh, even if Power is as good as everyone says it is, I don't know if I can go against Oz. Oz is so damn good. Yeah, exactly, David. Wednesday could. It, Wednesday could definitely overtake the OC someday. Well, with one season so far, it's hard to say that. And the OC was good all the way throughout, from the first season all the way to the last. Uh, I thought every season was good. Of course, some episodes weren't as good as others, but uh, you get that with almost any show. Uh, there's not a lot of shows that only have one season that you're going to say, this show is incredible. It's, it's going to win against something. Uh, it's 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 tough to do. Uh, suits against Better Call Saul. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Oz, Oz is taking. And I see you guys saying the same thing. Kells, Hollow, Jen, all said Oz. Uh, if you've never seen Oz, you gotta watch it. That show is fucking good. Uh, suits and Better Call Saul. Suits was actually decent. I wasn't mad at it. Uh, but I gotta go. Better Call Saul. Um, I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan. And uh, Better Call Saul is like there's not many times that you watch a spinoff, and it's especially something as good as Breaking Bad. It's not there's not many times you're gonna watch a spinoff and it's like really good. And uh, I thought Better Call Saul was really good. 
Uh, next, we got House of Dragons and Band of Brothers. Uh, I've heard great things about Band of Brothers. I know it's like my it's my father in law's favorite show. I've never seen it personally. Uh, even though we're only one uh, season in on House of Dragon, I have to go with House of Dragon because I know it, and the first season was really good. Jen said Suits over Better Call Saul and Band of Brothers over House of Dragons. Again, I ain't mad at that at all. Uh, Rescue Me and Handmaid's Tale. Um, I never actually watched Rescue Me. I know uh, it stars Dennis Leary. He's one of my favorite comedians. Um, I know he plays like a fireman. It's like, it's like a kind of different uh, uh, I haven't seen half of these um, yeah honestly I mean I haven't seen half of them either but you know I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the shows that everybody would watch you know so it's not going to be just a bias to the shows that I watch there's a couple there's a couple matchups on here that, that's kind of heartbreaking I'm kind of upset that I have to go through and Eliminate stuff super early, but you have to expect it when you do stuff like this. Uh, so Rescue Me, Handmaid's Tale. I've seen some of Handmaid's Tale. I wasn't really into it. Uh, I'm gonna go Rescue Me. Uh, strictly because I know I wasn't into Handmaid's Tale. I could possibly be into it. Rescue Me. I don't know, but I'm gonna go with Rescue Me. Uh. Sons of Anarchy and Miami Vice. Uh, Miami Vice is cool, but it's not close to me. Sons wins. Sons is going to win that all day. Yeah, I'm, 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 with, I'm with you on that. Sons, son, uh, Sons got that one. Uh, Narcos and Madman. Uh, Madman's cool. I'm not. I, I haven't watched all of it. I've only watched a little of it. I've actually watched more Narcos than Mad Men, and Narcos is really good. Uh, and Pedro Pascal is good in like everything he's in. So I'm gonna go with Narcos on that. Yeah, Narcos is crazy. Uh, Dan says Mad Men. I've only watched a couple episodes of Mad Men, so I can't. And it's it's like they weren't even in a row; they were just like random episodes. So I can't even like you know comment comment on it really. All right, Kel says I need my cheap for the for my uh, fix for the cheap. Uh, next we got the Shield in twenty four. I've heard that I would love the Shield. But I've never actually watched it. When The Shield was on, when I was younger, uh, I can't say I was too young for it. That'd be a stupid thing to say. I've, I definitely watch stuff that's uh, older and more mature. So I really, I really guess I have no excuse for not watching it. Um, 24 is not my thing. Um, except for Kobe. Shout out to Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with the shield on this one. This is my shield. Next, we got Dexter in a white collar. Um, you guys may be mad as hell at me for this. But I'm going white collar easily. I know people love Dexter. Uh, I'm not saying Dexter's a bad show. I just really like White Collar. Uh, Kel said Dexter for sure. Jen says White Collar. Uh, David with the White Collar. I'm surprised you've seen that, David. That's uh, that's great that you said that. That makes me very happy. Uh, yeah, White, White Collar is fucking great. I love that show. Uh, 
it's kind of crazy to see Matt. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know who Matt Bomber is, he's the main character in White Collar. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's gay in real life. He has a husband, and uh, they have kids together and all that. But in this sh- in this show, he plays like a ladies' man, which is like crazy. Uh, because it's it's super not what he actually is, and it just shows that he's a great actor with great range. Uh, next side we got Vampire Diaries and The Boys. This is not close at all to me. I'm going with The Boys. The Boys is fucking awesome. I love that show. Yeah. That's right, Kels. Kels and Jen both say the boys. The boys is so fucking good. From the first episode, you're just hooked. Uh, next, we got a house in seventh heaven. Uh, not really in the seventh heaven too much. So I'll go with house. House is definitely more up my alley. Yeah, Jennifer says house. Stay hydrated, y'all. Next, we got Chernobyl and The Witcher. Uh, I honestly haven't seen Chernobyl, and I'm mad at myself for it because I've heard it's a great show. It's a great, it's a great story. Uh. I just haven't seen it personally. And because of how good The Last of Us is, the fact that the people who do Chernobyl uh, also do Last of Us, or at least work with Neil Druckmann for Last of Us, makes me think that Chernobyl's probably going to be a great show. And I do want to get into it. I do want to watch it. Uh, But I have to go Witcher because I've seen it and it's amazing. Uh, next, we have Twilight Zone versus Them. Uh, Twilight Zone, I'm not really into it, man. Uh, it's supposed to be weird. I get that. It's really weird. Uh, them is like straight out of the Twilight Zone, really. Uh, if you haven't seen Them, it's a, it's a, about, I want to say, 1940s or 1950s, uh, Compton, California. Yeah, the old Twilight Zone, the original. We're going to say the original. Uh, but them is about uh, it's like the first African American family to move into Compton, California. Uh, which I mean, if you know what, what Compton, California is like now, it's predominantly African American. Um, but uh, this this was obviously the the older days. Uh, I'm gonna go with them. I thought that was a great show, great concept. I liked it a lot. Uh. It makes you wonder if Compton actually used to be like that. Uh, Umbrella Academy and I mean and Mandalorian. I've heard that I would love I would love Umbrella Academy. I've never seen it. Uh, I probably should start that. Um, I am not big on anything Star Wars whatsoever. Um, and you know people like to drag me for that regularly. Uh. I do love Pedro Pascal. I think he's fucking amazing. Uh, but because I know I'm not into anything Star Wars ish, I'm gonna go with Umbrella Academy. All right, this one fucking sucks. Reacher and Breaking Bad. I do not want Reacher to go out this early because Reacher can beat a lot of shows on this list for me. Like, a lot. Uh, It fucking sucks that it's going against Breaking Bad because it happens to be, like, one of my favorite shows of all time. Uh, Top three, for sure. Uh, But... It has to happen. So, Breaking Bad it is. But for the record, I'm mad. I'm heartbroken. 
because researching could have went very far for me. Uh, bones in the leftovers. Uh, I've seen some bones, not like a lot of it, but I tried to watch the first like three episodes of leftovers. And I just could not get into it. So I'm going to go with bones on this. I can't comment on Bones too too much. I've only seen like some some of different episodes, not even like all of an episode. Uh, yeah, Bones just seems like the obvious choice. Kelsey and Jennifer both said uh, Breaking Bad over uh, over Reacher. Uh, Kels also says Bones. Jennifer also said The Umbrella Academy. Over Mandalorian, because just only only because she hasn't seen Mandalorian yet. Uh, Stranger Things against uh going against seven seconds. David also says bones over leftovers, so I I I picked the right one. It looks like uh, Stranger Things in seven seconds. Uh, seven seconds was a fucking amazing story. It's only one season. It's only meant to be one season. Um. I don't think they can go on anymore with uh, after uh, the season that they did because it, I think it was only meant for the, for just that and that was it. Um, but Stranger Things wins, yeah, tells Stranger Things wins easily. Um, it, it it does because Stranger Things is Stranger Things. And we're all impatiently waiting for this last season of Stranger Things. Yeah, Kel says Reacher is cool, but Breaking Bad is Breaking Bad. Exactly. Uh, Bates Motel and Mines. Uh, Mines is a spinoff of Sons of Anarchy. Uh, it's the Hispanic biker uh, biker organization. Uh, Bates Motel, Freddie Highmore uh, plays Norman Bates. Uh, awesome show. I actually really like the show. I'm going Bates Motel on this. That base motel over Mayans. Yeah, I like baseball. Yeah, th that's the thing. Mayans is cool. Mayans is good, but I I do like base motel more. All right. On the left side, we got weeds against the OC. I'm going the OC pretty easily because, like I said, I haven't, I haven't really watched uh, weeds, but I love the OC. Uh. Oz and Better Call Saul. Uh, love Better Call Saul. Great show, great spinoff, but Oz, Oz takes the cake on this one. Oz is going to be hard to beat. Uh, Pretty Little Liars, House of Dragon. I don't think it's it's uh, close. I got House of Dragons on this. I just put Oz in the finals. Uh, Luther and Rescue Me. Luther wins this. Once Upon a Time and Sons. Uh, shit. They were both good all the way through, but Sons of Anarchy definitely wins on this one. I'm going Sons. Supernatural and Narcos. Narcos takes it for this one. Dawson Abbey in the Shield. Uh, I haven't seen Dawson Abbey really, uh, so I'm going with the Shield. Beverly Hills 90210, a white collar. Very easy choice for me. White collar wins that one. The OC and Oz, like Kel said, Oz is probably going to go right to the finals in this. House of Dragons or Luther? House of Dragons, uh, I mean, Luther is definitely more established. It has more seasons and it's good all the way through. House of Dragons only has one season. It has a chance to be great. Uh, but just basing it off of Game of Thrones, I was started off so strong, was so fucking good. And just like, I wouldn't say taint completely, but it's like 
definitely started getting worse and worse as it went on. Uh, I can't say I have crazy amounts of strength. Uh, I mean, uh, faith, crazy amounts of faith in House of Dragon. Luther is established. I'm going Luther. Uh, Sons of Anarchy and Narcos. I'm going with Sons. Uh, I watched Sons all the way through and was not disappointed. Not close, I still got quite a bit to watch. The Shield and White Collar. I'm uh, going White Collar on this one. Oz and Luther. We got Oz. Sons of Anarchy and White Collar. I'm going uh I'm going Sons. And then we got Oz versus Sons of Anarchy. And we are going Oz. So Oz wins the, le the left side of the left bracket. We'll go through and complete this. I think it's going to be faster if we just complete one whole side and just go over. I think that's how we're going to do it. Uh, West Wing and the Boys. The Boys wins this one pretty easy for me. House and the Witcher. We're going Witcher on this one. Uh, Godfather of Harlem and them. Godfather of Harlem is just so good. I have to go Godfather of Harlem. And for those of you who have not seen Godfather of Harlem, uh, definitely watch it. Uh, when I tell you that the man who originally plays Malcolm X in this show is like, if you copy and paste Malcolm X in real life, that's him. It's not often you say someone does some, something better than Denzel Washington. I think that Nigel Hatchman was a better Malcolm X than Denzel Washington. I got 11 of her friends winning this side. I am mad at that. Uh, Cobra Kai and Umbrella Academy. I'm getting Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai never dies. Yeah, Jan uh, Jan even Jennifer said he was amazing. She knows. We watched the show together, so. Uh, Ozark and Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad wins very easy, like I said. Not many shows are going to be Breaking Bad for me. We got BMF and Bones. Uh, I'm going to go BMF because I, I know when I watch BMF, I'm going to love it. And Bones, I haven't seen a crazy amount of. So. Uh, Empire and Stranger Things. Stranger Things wins this. Bates Motel and Lucifer. I'm going Bates Motel. The Boys and Witcher. I'm going The Boys. Godfather of Harlem and Cobra Kai. I'm going Godfather of Harlem. Breaking Bad and BMF. Oh, Breaking Bad. Stranger Things and Base Motel. We got Stranger Things. The Boys and Godfather of Harlem are going The Boys. Which I know is super surprising to some people. But uh, I think The Boys is like really, really well done. Breaking Bad and Stranger Things. This sus is a really, really good matchup. But I have to go Breaking Bad. Kel said he has Stranger Things winning this side. I and then we have Breaking Bad against the boys. I'm going Breaking Bad. And my finalist for this side is going to be Breaking Bad.
So Breaking Bad wins the left side bracket for me. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys have going into, into the, the first of finalist bracket. Breaking Bad over Oz is tough. It's super tough because Oz was so fucking good. Uh, but if I have to go with ending versus ending, one of my favorite characters on Oz was Miguel and how his story ended. Uh, uh, Al, uh, his name was Miguel, Miguel Alvarez. Uh, the way his story ended rubbed me the wrong way. It was weird. Uh, compared to how uh, some of the other characters' stories ended in that show, uh, Breaking Bad ended amazing to me. I loved the ending for Breaking Bad. Uh, I thought it was great. Uh, let's start working our way through the right side bracket now. We have Your Honor versus X Files. I think Your Honor wins this pretty easy for me. If you haven't watched Your Honor, definitely check that out. Uh, just like Breaking Bad, uh, Brian Cranston, he plays a judge. Uh, his son accidentally kills a a uh, high end mob me uh, member's son, and not only is he trying to cover up the murder so his son doesn't go to jail, but he's trying to cover up the murder so that the mob the mob boss doesn't know who killed his son, so he doesn't try to go after him. Uh, great story, great show. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and House of Cards. Uh, House of Cards wins this for me. <laughs> I actually just finished the second season today. Me and my sister are watching it today. We just finished the second season. Great season. Definitely got to watch that. You got Buffy over House of Cards. I am mad at that. Uh, Orange and the Black and the Wire. It's not even close. The Wire wins very easily. Uh, Sherlock and We Own This City. If you haven't seen We Own This City, you need to watch that. We Own This City is only one season. Uh, it stars uh, John Bernathal. Uh, he plays a, a pretty much a the leading cop of a special forces unit that do a bunch of dirty shit. Uh, and again, they're getting indicted for whatever shit it was they did. And they, they're all trying to not, not to flip on each other. It's a crazy ass show, but it's, it's based in Baltimore. There's a lot of characters from The Wire in that show that you know, you'd be familiar with if you watch The Wire. Uh, speaking of that, Bosch versus Bel Air. Uh, Bosch is another show that has a bunch of characters from The Wire in it. It's a great show. It's a detective show. Um, and I've watched all of Bosch. I think Bosch was a great show. Uh, it stars Travis Weller. He uh, he plays the lead detective. It's, it, it, he's great. Um, also has Lance Reddick in it. Rest in peace to Lance Reddick. He passed away recently. Um, But I, I have to go Bel Air. I am loving Bel Air right now. Bel Air is, is uh, so fucking good right now. Lost and the Shy. I don't think it's a close one. The Shy is far better. Uh, Yellowstone and Game of Thrones. Out of these two, Game of Thrones takes it. Yeah, this, this, the shy is just way too good. That <laughs> loss was dumb. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, Saturday Night Lights and ER. Uh, I'm going to Saturday Night Lights. Walking Dead and Twin Peaks. 
I want to go all the Walking Dead. Now we have True Detective and uh, Your Honor. Your Honor takes this one. House of Cards and The Wire. The Wire wins this. Spartacus and We Own This City. We Own This City takes this for me. Even though it was one season, We Own This City is just too good. This is us in Bel Air. I got Bel Air over This Is Us. Blacklist and the Shy. I got the Shy. Wu Tang American Saga Game of Thrones. Uh, shit. This shouldn't be a hard choice. Because Game of Thrones was really good up until up until like some point in the last season. Yeah, Kel says Wu Tang. I want to go Wu Tang. I really do because I'm super Wu Tang biased. And I love Wu Tang. Uh, oh man, and and some of the characters like Raekwon, uh. Raekwon, ODB, You God were like perfectly cast. That you could not have casted those characters any better. Um, shit, this shouldn't be hard for me. I hate the way the Riz are tossing that show. I love the Rizzo, but the way he tossed in that show, it's so exaggerated. It's not the way he talks. I'm gonna go Game of Thrones. Child of Saturday Night Lights. Uh, I never seen too much Saturday Night Lights. I never seen too much Charmed. Uh, for the love of my dad and sister, I will go Charmed. Just for them. Kel says Charm too. It's all about three witches that just gets him going. Uh, Boardwalk Empire and The Walking Dead. We're going to The Walking Dead. Booker T and Scott Steiner want Charm. Were they really? That's hilarious. Like, as regular guests, or were they like playing themselves? Your Honor and The Wire. I got The Wire. Your Honor is really good, but, you know, it's The Wire. We own the city versus Bel Air. I'm going Bel Air. I think when it's all said and done, Bel Air is going to be one of the best shows on TV. It's, a, it's definitely playing out that way. Uh, they were playing themselves. All right, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's pretty dope. Uh, the Shy of Game of Thrones. I'm going to Shy. I gotta go to Shy on that. Uh, Charmed in The Walking Dead. I'm going to Walking Dead. The Wire and Bel Air. By the time Bel Air is done, it's gonna be one of the best shows on TV. The Wire is the best show to ever touch TV. So, taking Charmed over The Walking Dead, I am out of that. The Shy and The Walking Dead, I'm going to Shy. I know it takes so much of the walking of uh so much walking and getting kidnapped. It got old. Yeah, I feel you on that. I'm gonna break this down to the final four. Uh Hawkeye and Fear of the Walking Dead. Let's go Fear of the Walking Dead on this one.
Kaleidoscope and the Sopranos. I'm going Sopranos. Kaleidoscope was decent, though, for those who haven't seen Kaleidoscope. Uh, uh, it's uh, John Carlo Esposito. They uh, they played some hi uh, some heisters who were are uh, you know heist in the bank. Uh, it's a great show. I like it. Yeah, it's a color coded show on Netflix. Uh, each show is each episode is uh, color coded, so it has like the white episode, the purple episode, the pink episode, whatever. You can watch it in any order you want to. You don't have to watch it. Uh, I like, like, um, the order of episodes are different for everybody. So my, my episodes on my Netflix was like, you know, red, blue, green, purple, white, black, or whatever, you know? And then on Hells, it would be different. It would be like yellow, purple, orange, green, blue. Like, it, it, but, uh, regardless of how you watch it, the white episode is last. You have to watch the white episode last. Um, and the story still makes sense. Uh, but it's, you're just watching different parts of the story at different times. Uh, it's actually kind of cool, but um, Sopranos is Sopranos. I mean, come on. Let's not get fucking stupid here. You know what I mean? Uh, Barry and American Horror Story. Listen, I love American Horror Story, but there are some seasons I just cannot get with. Uh, Barry is good all the way through. I fucking love Barry. That show is so good. I'm going Barry. Uh, good Doctor and Doctor Who. I'm going to go Good Doctor. I like Good Doctor a lot. You and Dawson's Creek. I'm gonna go you. Melrose Place and Grey's Anatomy. I'm gonna go with uh, Grey's Anatomy. <coughs> Peaky Blinders, The Last of Us. I've heard amazing things about Peaky Blinders. I've never seen Peaky Blinders before. You got Melrose Place over Grey's Anatomy. Uh, I've heard nothing but good thing about Peaky Blinders, but Last of Us, in the one season they had, this show was fucking breathtaking to me. Last of Us is my favorite game, like, of all time. And the way they did the game versus the show the little tweaks they made, the like small tweaks, um, and even the the big changes they made, made sense. It was fucking great, and I am super excited for the next season. Uh, I think Last of Us is that good. By the time Last of Us is done, it is gonna be in my top five favorite shows of all time, and I can confidently say that from how good the first season was. Uh. It's going to be really hard to fuck this up. Knock on wood. Uh, oh, man. Kel's Last of Us is so fucking good, man. I ain't going Last of Us. Lost Girl and From. Lost Girl was really fucking good. It's a Canadian show. Um. Uh, it, it's about and humans uh, working together and you know just living in the same world so it got like succubuses and vampires uh, werewolves and valkyries and shit uh, sirens it's a it's a super cool show I like it a lot uh, From is on its second season it's probably one of the greatest horror shows I've watched so far as far as like Pure horror. Um, I think it's fucking dope. Uh, Harold Perrineau is the main character. Uh, he's great. Obviously, if you've seen Oz, you know who he is. 
Uh, I'm going to go with from. Because as much as I as much as I really liked Lost Girl, I thought Lost Girl was a great show. I think by the time From is done, it's gonna be incredible. Uh Prison Break and Snowfall. Come on, man. Come on, man. I got Snowfall on that one pretty easy. Westworld and Fear of the Walking Dead. We're gonna go Westworld. Uh, I was not into Fear of the Walking Dead, honestly, as much as I was The Walking Dead. Uh, Westworld's first season was incredible. And then the second season, I don't know what the fuck they did. It was really weird. Uh, Sopranos and Barry, y'all might hate me for this, but I'm going with Barry. Surprise is a really good show. It's fucking great. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy Barry more, personally. And I might get dragged for that, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, WandaVision and the Good Doctor. Go with Good Doctor on this. 13 Reasons Why and You. I'm going to go with You. Uh, Gotham and Grey's Anatomy. I think Gotham takes this one pretty easily. Murder, She Wrote, and Last of Us. Last of Us got it easy. Vikings and From. I just haven't seen Vikings yet. I've heard nothing but good things about it, but From is, you know, From is one of the ones. Black Bear and Snowfall. Snowfall takes it pretty easy. Snowfall is one of the best shows that has come on TV. It just finished uh, its last season, final episode last week. Fucking great show. Uh, Westworld and Barry. I'm going Barry, man. Yeah, I've heard Vikings was really good, man. I, I haven't heard anything bad about it at all. Uh, not a thing. But uh, From is just... From is so fucking good, man. Uh, another thing about Barry, I think Bill Hader is one of the most underrated comedians ever. And the fact that he's playing the character he's playing, you know, is crazy to me. Uh, Edge is in it. <laughs> Shout out to Edge. Edge got the greatest theme, theme music for wrestling of all time. Uh, good Doctor and you. I'm going Good Doctor. Gotham and Last of Us. This is rough. I loved Gotham all the way through. Uh, it was fucking great. I'm going Last of Us. From and Snowfall. From, like I said, when I started From's done, it's going to be one of the best, the best shows on, uh, on TV. Snowfall is one of the best shows that was on TV. So I'm going to Snowfall. <coughs> I got Barry and the Good Doctor. Barry takes this one for me. A wrestling entrance song list. Come on, bro. I can do that. I'm all over that. That'd be interesting. Last of Us and Snowfall. Uh, this is actually tough. Because I'm super, I'm so biased with Last of Us. Like, so fucking biased with Last of Us. Oh, man. The Snowfall was so fucking good all the way through, man. Like, Snowfall was incredible. Oh, shit. Uh, 
the wire versus the shy. Nah, that's an easy pick for me. Last of Us and Snowfall is a lot harder for me than The Wire and Shy. Because it's it's complete, and it's one of the best shows that I that that I've watched. I gotta go Snowfall. Uh, so my final four: we got The Wire, The Shy, Barry, and Snowfall. I do have the Last of Us tattooed on me. That's a fact. Uh, so the Wire and the Shy, the Wire wins this one for me. And the Shy is really, really super good. Uh, I love the Shy. It's a great show. If you don't watch it, you need to watch it. Uh, Barry and Snowfall. I'm gonna go Snowfall on this. And I love Barry. Barry's such a good show, but I got Snowfall be, uh, being our Barry. The Wire and Snowfall, last two on this side. The Wire takes this one out. Uh, Snowfall is in my top five. It's in my top five shows. Ah, uh, see, Riv, you can only say Snowfall because you haven't watched The Wire yet. I promise you. Where, where, where's he at? Where's Hollow Red? Hollow Red, where you at, bro? Hollow Red was quoted saying last week or the week before. He has never watched a show that lived up to the hype in his life until he watched The Wire. The Wire lives up to the hype. The Wire is the best show to ever come on TV. See, look, look at Kells. I'm taking the wire over Snowfall easily. That says a lot. Because Snowfall is one of the best shows on TV. Period. It's one of the best shows to ever come out of TV. Period. I have to pick Snowfall over The Last of Us. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised at that because everyone knows how I am about Last of Us. And that first season of Last of Us is one of the best first seasons of any TV show I ever watched. Um, but Snowfall was good all the way through. VBG coming in hot, saying she's never seen The Wire either. Gotta watch The Wire. Gotta watch The Wire. You know what? You know what we can do one day? If y'all down for it, I got HBO Max. We can watch The Wire on, on, on Discord. I'm with it. Exactly, Kells have a wire watch party. Hell yeah. And I got HBO Max. We'll go on Discord. We'll go up in there. We'll watch The Wire. I'm with that shit. I'm with that shit all day. You said Snowfall. Well, uh, Frum's going to be better than Snowfall by the end. You could be right, but we're taking it, it. We're taking a chance on that. From is really fucking good. It's really good. The first season's really good. The first episode of the second season just dropped. It's really good. Uh, but Snowfall's already proven itself. <coughs> Snowfall already pro has already proven itself. BBG says she's down. She's down to watch the wire for a watch party. Say Redivious, you down for a watch party? What up? Yeah, see that? <clears throat> so, uh, just to finish this off, uh, before we get more into it, the lot uh, Finalists on the first bracket and finalists in the second bracket. We got Breaking Bad versus The Wire. Uh, I got The Wire winning the whole thing. My champion is The Wire.
when i mean uh shit we can do uh monday or tuesday nights we can try and bang out a couple episodes at a time or we can do monday and tuesday night i don't care it's five seasons so i mean you got we got a bit to watch and uh I've already seen The Wire four times over, but I watch that shit over and over again. Like, it's that good. It's really that good. Riff says he's down. I know Kels will be down. And I know you know Kel said he'll do a watch party. We can get some heads in there. We can definitely watch uh we can definitely watch some uh some uh some of the wire for sure. Kels, we can tell Justin to get his dumb ass in there too, because I know he's never seen it. But uh, yeah, there you have it, man. Uh, the wire's my winner. Uh, the, the wire, the, the the wire wins the bracket. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't it was not a surprise to any of you guys. Any of you guys who actually know me know how I feel about the wire. Uh, greatest TV show of all time for me. Uh, but I mean, if you really think about it, the final four all together. Oz, Breaking Bad, The Wire, and Snowfall. All great shows in there. They're all in my top five. <laughs> Those four and Last of Us are, are my top five favorite shows. The Wire, Breaking Bad, Snowfall, Last of Us, and Oz. Uh, those are my top five favorite shows. Is the grassy a sitcom or is that is is that a uh, is that a drama? I heard about Yellow Jackets. I never watched it. But I heard Yellow Jackets is really good. And what's that other show with Zendaya? Euphoria. I heard that was good too. I don't know why I just thought about that right now. The grassy's a drama. All right. I never actually watched Degrassi before. If if you would have asked me beforehand, I would have I would have I would have sworn I was a, a sitcom. But I've, I've I have heard good things about Yellow Jackets. So I heard Yellow Jackets is really good. My sister mentioned Smallville earlier. Uh. I heard Smallville was really dope. I never watched it personally. Uh, I think is what do you take off of here? Like, what, what do you take off for for those shows? <clears throat> I guess we could we could replace We Own This City with uh. You know, with one of those shows, we could have we could have did that because it's only one season, and uh, there's not going to be another season to it. But we own the city made it really far for me. It took Bel Air to beat we own the city for me. You know what I mean? So I don't think it was a bad choice. Uh, Rescue me! I probably I probably could have not said it. No one would have even noticed. In all honesty. Seven seconds is only one season. It's it's a really fucking good one season. Uh but they're not gonna have another, another season for that show. So I probably could have knocked that one off too. And put something else in there. 
I don't know how big Hawkeye is. I just, I just hear the name a lot, so I figured that was one to throw in there. But for all I know, Moon Knight was bigger. I know the Punisher was bigger. But I heard the Punisher got canceled, so I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's not touch that one. What else we got to do? Because I take it off. Yeah, I heard the punch was great. I, I love John Bernathal, too. I think he's fucking great. Uh, I guess them. Them could have got taken off. Because uh, it's only been one season so far. And I don't even know if there's a second season coming for that. I haven't really listened to it. I actually remember the show, and the show was really good. I don't, I, I don't know if they, if they have another season coming for it. But yeah, we should uh we should definitely plan on uh we should definitely plan on, on that wire watch party. Um we gotta get Redivious into the RVU Discord. Uh you know Riv Riv fucks with uh with Hollow and Reckless anyway, you know. Uh I just don't think he was ever invited to the Discord. But uh he uh he definitely fucks with hollow hollow and reckless uh you know we've uh we've done a, a podcast episode together talking about anime and uh it was a great conversation so I know he's familiar with them and uh you know reckless and rave are both big apex guys too uh so we gotta get rave invited to the r v u discord once we get him in there, we'll be able to do it through that Discord. Uh, but I'll do the whole share screen thing, and we'll watch the wire through that. We'll we'll start from the first episode, and just go through. Uh, but VBG and Redivius definitely gotta watch the whole thing. They can't they can't miss any episode. So we can definitely plan on that. But uh. I'm going to jump off of here. This was fun for me. I appreciate y'all stopping by, going in the comments, uh, you know, supporting all that. Like I said in the beginning of the, of the stream, uh, always support random people, support, support your people. <coughs> always support your people. Uh, if you don't know what else is going to, and, uh, we should always support support our people. But uh, I'm gonna catch y'all later. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. Appreciate y'all for being in the comments. Uh, and we'll we'll do another bracket soon. Uh, when I, when I think of one, maybe we'll do a a sissy four team one and do something smaller. Who knows? Uh, but I'll think of something. But until then, I'll catch y'all later. I appreciate y'all for stopping by, and I'll talk to you guys soon.